Hello, this is Peter with another video. Today I thought I'd just do a quick update on the pineapple guavas because um, I've not done the video for a while. Um, they flowered earlier in summer. Um, I only got a handful of flowers on um, some of my plants. I think most varieties got at least one or two flowers but I didn't get a whole lot overall. Um, this one I'm featuring here is the unique uh, the one I got last year. I also have another unique that I got a few years ago, which is much bigger. Um, but that one hasn't got any fruit set on it. Um, and this one here, as you can see, has swollen. Um, it's the biggest one on all the plants. In fact, I think it's the only one that's swollen. None of the others seem to be swelling. Um, but yeah, that is not very big, as you can see. It's probably about the size of my, uh, probably, well the size of my little finger, maybe a little bit bigger, but yeah, it's uh, probably not got much chance of developing into a full size fruit before uh, before the winter comes. I mean, of course, these do hold on to the plant well into uh, autumn and uh, early early winter sometimes, but I don't expect we'll uh, we'll get a full size fruit off it. But maybe I'll get something somewhat edible if I keep this uh, in this sunny spot here. It's actually quite nice today. It was uh, quite gloomy this morning. Um, very, very misty. But now the sun's come out, it's starting to feel quite warm. And yeah, I think this week it's actually going to be quite sunny and hopefully a little bit warmer as well. Until like 20 degrees or so, 21 maybe. I think... The one next to it, which is a triumph, has one flower down there. It hasn't swollen, it's just in the distance there. I can't really get to it now. I'll just check on some of the other pineapple guavas while we're here as well. So I'm not checking on them properly for a while. These Nikitas um, don't seem to have set any fruit. Um, it is the first year I've had them, so yeah, not too concerned about that. And I think we only got a couple of tiny flowers on this. One at the back, I've got two here as you can see. Um, yeah, these all need repotting again, probably uh, in spring. I've had a, a good look around and you can see on this one here, it's still got a couple of flowers on. that don't seem to have really swollen at all. Uh, maybe just a tiny bit, but there's, yeah, I'd say zero chance of those ones turning into fruits. That's my other unique. Which is a larger plant, I've had it longer. Um, but yeah, it's it's not really produced anything um, significant yet. I think it's the uh, the containers. Although it is in a pretty big pot. Um, not sure exactly what volume it is. It's probably between 20, 21 to 25 I'd say. Maybe slightly bigger, could even be 30. So yeah, it is quite a large pot, but yeah, clearly not not doing well in this container. So the other problem I've had was, uh, even though I had a good few flowers this year, more than last year, uh, the overlap between the different varieties and plants wasn't that good. So you can see this one's got a couple on it here, but these were some of the last... Um, yeah, these ones were some of the last flowers to open. Um, so there wasn't really anything to pollinate them with. Um, I did put some pollen in in a jar and kept it in the fridge. Um, and did try to pollinate them with some older pollen. Um, but yeah, it's not that not that easy when you only have a you know three or four flowers to cross pollinate um, on each plant. I think even some of them only open like one or two flowers as well uh, and then some of them it took like another week before it opened up again um, but overall the plants are looking quite nice and healthy at least um, apart from this one at the back which is the most neglected um, that one hasn't been repotted since I, pretty much since I, I think I repotted it when I first got it but it's uh, not been re repotted since um, I think that one is Apollo um, back there so that one is definitely due a repot. Yeah, so um, 
I didn't realise how how much this uh, Chilean guava has grown here. Just uh, popping up all the way up there. It's got to be a good 60 centimetres, two feet of growth on that. <laughs> uh, anyway, back to the pineapple guava. So yeah, this is the only one I think has a remote chance of uh, ripening this year. And of course, this plant did ripen um, I, think, I think about three fruits, three or four fruits last year uh, but of course they came from the nursery already quite a reasonable size probably already bigger than that when I got it uh, last year so yeah my plan really for the pineapple barbers now is to choose maybe two possibly three varieties um, and I'm gonna plant them somewhere in the garden uh, probably over winter yeah, probably in the next couple of months, maybe just before winter. Um, and then, yeah, hopefully in time as they get more established in the ground, they'll have a better chance of flowering and being able to cross-pollinate them uh, with different varieties. Because, yeah, they don't seem to be doing very well in containers. Um, but you never know, this fruit might make it if we have a, a very nice um, sunny autumn. Uh, the chances of that are quite slim, I'll be honest, but you never know. So yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I'll be sure to keep you all up to date on how my pineapple guava plants do. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.